In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the greatest common factor of monomials. And remember a monomial is just a one term expression. So the three given in the example problem, 15 n to the fifth, 30 n to the third, and 45 n squared, these are all separate examples of monomials. And we need to find the greatest common factor. And essentially what they're asking for here is we wanna find the biggest number or biggest variable expression that could divide evenly into all three of these. So when you're doing these problems, you really wanna think about the numbers and the variables separately. Now the variables tend to be simpler or more straightforward since you can look at these where we have n to the fifth, n to the third, and n squared. So the largest amount of n's that can divide into all three of these would be whichever one has the smallest amount. So in this case, n squared. Because if we divide by anything bigger than n squared, like let's say n cubed, then this one would result in a fraction and it wouldn't divide evenly into this expression here. So when looking at the variables, just figure out which one is the smallest, n squared in this case, and that's the greatest common factor, at least for the variables. So we know that we can factor out that n squared, since that will divide evenly into all three of these terms. But the more difficult problem often is figuring out what is the greatest number that can be factored out from all three of these. And a lot of times you'll be able to just figure it out. Like for instance, you can notice each of these are divisible by five because they all end in five or zero. And so we can start by factoring out a five and you'll notice that you'll be able to factor out further from each of them. You'll be able to factor out another three. Or in total, you might notice that 15, 30, and 45 are all divisible by 15. But until you get a lot of practice, that might be difficult to recognize. And so you wanna come up with a strategy to be able to figure that out without having to just recognize it. And what we can do is write down each of these numbers, 15, 30, and 45, and we can write out the factors for each of these and then just look for the biggest one that they have in common. So factors, remember, are just numbers that will divide evenly into your number. So what numbers divide evenly into 15? Well, one is going to divide into all of these. So we know one is a common factor for all of these. And 15 is also divisible by three. It's divisible by five and it's divisible by 15. Now 30 is divisible by two. Three goes into this, five goes into it evenly also six. And of course, you could think about this in terms of factor pairs. For instance, one and 30 are factor pairs since they multiply to 30. Two and 15 are factor pairs, three and 10, and then five and six. These are all the possible different ways to multiply to 30. So you could think about it in terms of pairs and essentially work on both ends. So for this one, one and 45 work. We could also do not two, but three would work. Three times 15 works here. And we could do five, since five times nine will work. And after that, it looks to be complete. So there's actually nothing in this empty space here. So if you want, you can write that a little bit closer. But once we've written out all the factors of each of these numbers, now we're just looking for the greatest factor that they have in common. And you'll notice that for this one, 15 is the highest. And so it can't be any number higher than 15 because that wouldn't divide evenly into 15. And so now we can look in the other ones and see they also have 15 in it. So 15 is the greatest common factor of these three numbers. It's the greatest number that divides evenly into all three of them. So the greatest common factor of these variable expressions, we already know we can divide each of them by n squared, but we can also divide each of them evenly by 15. So 15 n squared is the greatest common factor of these three monomials. So let's use this strategy and work on some more problems.